All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people, lovers of freedom all over the world. Yes, I don't carry another matter call for you today on this wonderful YouTube platform where they give you the Ogbonga news and informate as it is up for Biafran territory. Yes, straight to the matter where I carry come for you because uh, we know they waste time on this issue. Now, Mazen Namdekano, he don't come out. Onyendu, Onyendu don't come out and once again, uh, they speak to Biafran on the matter where they happen uh, concerning uh, uh, in the um, issue for DSS Dungeon. Do not forget that Onyendu Mazen Namdekano has been uh, the one and only through Biafran, who has fought tooth and nail for the freedom of our people. In his wisdom, he gave the mantle to the one and only Simon Ekpa, who is currently handling um, the Biafran struggle. That was a very smart move. People did not know. But the reality is, despite all said and done, proof, evidences have actually proven that truly, Mazi Simon Ekpa is the true disciple of Mazen Namdekano. He was saying it. He was screaming loud to the to the world. And yet the world, Biafrans, some Biafrans actually, you know, failed to believe him. But every evidence have showed currently that Mazi Simon Epa was the hero that Mazen Namdekano was talking about. That the Biafra might not even come from him. That is Namdekano. That people will take over the struggle that he have people who will take over the struggle we didn't know that um, that person was Mazin simon Epa. the way he came out his emergence and from nowhere he took over the struggle is still something that is even surprising the nigerian government the struggle wasn't really about mazanam de kano he said it and he clarified it but the struggle was um for the whole biafran and as we can see the biafran struggle has got into another level because we have seen them um, the the freedom that everybody was talking about we are seeing the freedom that mazen amdekano was talking about we are seeing this freedom that um Mazi simon ekpa has been talking about every move that um, simon ekpa has made is to the freedom of our people and now that um, the referendum voting will be kicking off on um, february 1st we are seeing that um, everything has come to actualization make i pause here make i give you the news where i carry come for you on onyendu mazi namdekano the news namdekano requests uk's intervention in his continued detention and trial the news proper. Mazenam de Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has requested the UK authorities to intervene in his trial and continued detention at the facility of the Nigeria State Security Services SSS. Since his rearrest in July 2021, Mr. Kano, a British Nigerian citizen, has been detained at the SSS facility. He is facing terrorism trial at a federal high court, Abuja, currently. In a letter dated 18 January and addressed to the House of Commons, the lower chamber of the UK Parliament, the indigenous people of Biafran leader appealed to the lawmakers to prevail on the UK government to intervene in this matter in Nigeria. A lawyer, Jimako, Mr. Kano, special counsel, who signed the letter, said he had the instruction of the indigenous people of Biafran leader to do so. Mr. Kano, in the letter to the parliament, detailed how he was first arrested, his initial trial, and how he fled Nigeria after Nigerian security forces invaded his home town in Abia State, Nigerian Southeast. We know the story. We continue. The indigenous people of Biafran leader in the letter presented some prayers which he pleaded with the parliament to consider for possible implementation. Urgently intervene in his majesty, UK government, strongly urging it to promptly make demands on the government of Nigeria to unconditionally release 
of Mr. Kano from detention. From detention and repatriate repatriate him to the united kingdom and to levy sanction against the government of nigeria if they it fails to comply within a reasonable time the letter read in part mr kano urged in the letter that his extraordinary rendition to nigeria from kenya inherently destroys every prospect for a fair trial in a jurisdiction that levied the rendition he cited previous court ruling in the UK to support his position. The indigenous people of Biafran leader said in the alternative, the parliament should promptly intervene with his majesty, with his majesty's government, strongly urging it to make binding proposal to the government of Nigeria to agree to conduct his trial in the UK instead of Nigeria. He urged that since charges preferred against him by the Nigerian government were alleged to have been committed by him in the UK, there are legal reasons for which he should be tried in the United Kingdom rather than in Nigeria. Mr. Kano mentioned his British Nigerian citizenship, human rights corners, consigns, existing Nigerian British diplomatic consideration, security and safety, fair trial and prospect of political interference are some of the reasons for which he should be tried in the united kingdom mr kanu went forward to say if conducting his trial in united kingdom will be impossible the parliament may alternatively intervene with his majesty's government urging it to make binding proposal to the nigerian government to agree to conduct his trial in a mutually agreed neutral third country other than nigeria and the uk as as was done in the Lockerbie in the Lockerbie trial of Libyan nationals. The letter said, the decision to make the request to the parliament was propelled by undue levity, with which the U United Kingdom government has so far handled Mr. Kano's matter. He said, the indigenous people of Biafran leader believe that he has not been accorded the full legal and diplomatic protections he is entitled to as a bona fide british um, subject and that is that um, on that issue of mazanam the can we you know we have heard them um, the letter he is he has written rather to the united kingdom government but one thing i want to say i want to clarify is um is it not the same united kingdom that have failed to defend only the mazanam the Kano? Is it not the same United Kingdom government? The United Kingdom is biased, and that is just a fact. They have truly, they have truly proven that they are biased, and they are as corrupt as Nigerian government. In fact, the whole issue of corruption, you know, that um, Nigeria has actually learned, you know came from United Kingdom with the way they handled them, you know, Nigeria when they were still ruling us. That was before we got our independence. The United Kingdom, they are biased. And this issue of Mazanam the Kano has proven and exposed the United Kingdom in the way that they have handled the issue of Mazanam the Kano has proven that these people do not give a damn about Pia France. It's so painful. Just imagine that Mazanam de Kano was, you know, a, a, a United States, um, um, a, he was um, from the United States. He was a citizen of the United States. Just the way he, he is a citizen of um, the United Kingdom. Okay, let's take, for example, um, Simon Epper. He's a citizen of um, Finland. Do you remember where the Nigerian government, you know, kept on telling them, the the um the finnish government you know to arrest simon Epa. i know how they've done everything possible to bring down simon Epa. there was even a time you know simon Epa was taking him um, you know for questioning 
despite all the whole propaganda that the Nigerian gov uh, the Nigerian government, you know, were committing and how they were putting pressure on the Finnish government to bring down Simon Epa. But the reality is that the Finnish government did the right thing. And that is why you see Simon Epa, he's, 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 he has a strong food in fighting for the freedom because the Finnish government understands what it means to fight for freedom. And they have been truly truthful. They have been truthful with their laws. Unlike the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom failed to protect one of their citizens. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Mazen Amdekanu still remains a citizen of the United Kingdom. And that is just the fact. So, the big question is, why is the United Kingdom suddenly quiet about the ordeal and the abduction of Mazen Amdekanu, knowing fully well that he was abducted illegally? Think about it. So, it's good that um, Onyendu is writing to the United Kingdom. But the reality is that with every fact, you know, pointing to the fact that the United Kingdom is biased, the reality is that nothing is going to happen. It's not going to, his freedom is not going to come from the United Kingdom. They have not done anything. They've not, they've literally been quiet about them. It is all deal. Just look at the way Mazinam Bekano was abducted. He was kidnapped. Just take for instance that Mazinam Dekano, you know, is not a Biafran. The reality is that the United Kingdom would have taken him off, out of that MDSS custody instantly. Why will he be there for two years? For what? But that is the level of corruption that is ravaging both the nigerian and the united kingdom we know but despite the ordeal of onion domas and the camera i saw one of the comments that um you know simon epa highlighted on his s handle formerly known as twitter where onion domas and the camera posted that nothing would stop biafran restoration and we can see that um Marzi simon epa has taken over and the way he's handling it nobody nobody can stop stop biafra at this point in time that's what the matter be for my mouth thank you once again for joining us and um, yet again to listen to this wonderful news we will carry on for you please do not forget to share this video to as many group to as many platform as possible make our people no waiting they happen as it is hot for Biafran land. God bless you and your family.